Welcome back to our video series on the play framework using Scala. So we took our little diversion writing our chat using WebSockets, and now we want to come back to the task list. We have completed a third version of the task list that uses uh, communication through JSON. Now I want to change the front end. So instead of doing things like directly manipulating the, the DOM, either through jQuery or through uh, the just the, the standard JavaScript uh, DOM modification, I want to use a different library. And the library that I want to work with is React. So React is part of a breed of new uh, kind of client-side web frameworks. The, the primary competitors to React would be Angular and Vue. Um, I don't know Vue, but I have a preference for React over Angular, and so I'm going to, to go with this. In many ways, they all have a similar idea of you build components. You can see it here on their website. It is component-based. Uh, they're also declarative, so they have kind of a functional nature to them. And I want to set up our task list using this. Now, the first kind of version that I want to do in here is actually just going to be a task list that doesn't communicate with the server and then we'll work on making it communicate with the server uh, and and do things kind of the right way but where all the client side stuff is handled in react in order to do this we need to make it so that our main page which includes all the various libraries that we have includes things for react so i went to getting started and try React, and they have this download this HTML file. I actually don't want to download this HTML file, but there are two scripts here that I want to utilize. Okay, they are the development version of React and React DOM, which allows the React DOM is used for building DOM elements, which of course is what we want to do here since we're playing with the web. Okay. And let's go ahead and put these down here. Perfect. Uh, it's interesting, note this will break uh, the tests that we have done. The Selenium has a problem with React here. Uh, just letting you know that in case you have been working on tests and you're going to go run your tests again. So how does React work? Well, a page that uses React generally has very little on the page itself, I guess, actually. You often have something like this, which is a div that has an ID. I'm not just going to call mine root. I'm going to call it React root so that it can't possibly be confused with, with anything else here. Now, they put their script inside of the HTML. Uh, that's not how I would recommend doing this. Um, we're going to take and write a separate script here. But generally, the body of your document is just the div and a script. Okay, so that means that the content that we are going to pass through for a new view that works with this, we'll call it. Uh, Let's see, we have a login one, login two, text off, there, we, version three main. So we'll call this version four main.scala. So this will be the main page that gets loaded in. And it will call main. Task list four. And all that I want to put inside of here is a div that has an ID. As I said, I'm going to call it React root. Close off the div. And the other thing that we're going to put inside of here is a call to a script. So we have some scripts inside of public JavaScript. We had a version 2.js and a version 3.js. You can probably guess what I'm going to call this now. Source equals and we want this to be reverse routed 
So let's go ahead and pull that. JavaScript slash version 4.js. Okay, and that will close off the routes. We close off our string. And we close the script tag. Okay, and then we'll need to have a new file here, version 4.js, just so I can tell if this is being run. I'll put a nice little console log in there. And I want to be able to pull up this view, actually, now that I, I'm looking at that. This should have been .scala.html. Otherwise, we have the wrong, uh, wrong little icon. Color coding isn't right. There we go. So that's, that's happy there. We also need another controller. So I have controllers for... Here's the task list three controller. Let's go ahead and make task list four dot Scala. And at least to start with, I am going to happily copy over the elements from task list three into task list four. We will wind up needing the models. We're gonna still use of the JSON stuff. Actually, that will be an interesting discussion when we when we get to it. Um, but I do need to be able to give us back this version here. And so, you know what, we'll go ahead and we'll keep with the same model of a load. But now it will load in for main, which is unhappy yet because it uh, right now because it hasn't been compiled. Actually, that should go all the way down here. Routes for version four. And so we'll make a route called load for. It goes to task list four dot load. That's a nice small step for us to take. Let's try pulling it up and see what we get. Oh, compilation error, indeed. So I just copied these over, but they're in a twirl template. And you might recall that the one special character in twirl templates is the at symbol. And if we want an at symbol, which you don't do that much in HTML, but when you do want it, it has to be a double at. Okay. Couldn't find implicit or implicit for the flash. Indeed, that makes sense. Copy. Oh wow! Oh, because I mistyped the uh, the name. Okay. And F five. Bingo. Let's bring up the console running version four. Excellent. So this is happy right now. You can see there is a message. There are some dev tools that can help with building your React applications. I'm not going to pull them in now. So basically we have everything set up so that we can start doing a little React. Uh, the documentation here, now I'm just gonna give a brief introduction to React. The There are various books on this. I wound up, when I was learning React, I read React Quickly from Manning. Uh, the documentation on their website is actually quite good as well. So you know the main concept section, the advanced guide section. One thing I will note, I am not going to be using JSX here, and that is, so JSX is kind of a dialect of JavaScript that includes the ability to write HTML directly in, and that HTML gets converted to, calls this create rack, uh, the React Create element. Why am I going to do it this way, you might ask? And it is because in order to use JSX, we have to bring in a different tool chain we need to use Babel to convert from uh, the JSX 
into regular JavaScript. And I don't want to bring in uh, another tool chain. Plus we have a final goal of actually not writing things directly in JavaScript using Scala.js. So we're only going to do things without the JSX. So I will be typing things in kind of the long way instead of this way. I just want you to realize this page is here. It's under the adva advanced section if you want to see examples of, of how this works. So let's put in the you know one kind of simple thing that we could do here. We could actually copy their basic example just so that we can finish off at the end of this video and show that things are actually happening. We'll come back, we'll talk about the various elements of this and we did not call this just root, we call it react root. Okay, let's go back to our website and refresh. Unexpected, oh indeed, yep, because I was just saying I'm not using JSX. So we do have to pull over, I'm going to copy and paste stuff through, I need to copy and paste this version through. And then see that pull up, hello, uh, hello world. Hmm. Um, oh, and I copied it and then I forgot to make that change to React Root. All the little things that can go wrong that aren't syntax errors. Okay, there we go. It says hello world. I'm happy with that. So we'll close off this video here. We have everything set up so that we can start actually writing interesting stuff with React in the next video.